if x is varying from pi by 2 to 3 pi by 4, then we have to find the value of this expression. So we have cos inverse 12 by 13 cos x plus 5 by 13 sin x. And we know that cos inverse cos theta is equal to theta only when theta lies in the principal range of cos x that is 0 to pi. So we need to bring this expression in terms of cos. And whenever we need to do that, we consider one of the term as cos and the other is sine. And luckily we have these two values which are fitting in the format of cos square plus sine sin square alpha is equal to 1. Otherwise, when we have the linear combination of sine and cos, we divide by root of a square b square to bring in that format. This time they are already in that format. So we'll be writing it as cos inverse cos a cos b plus sine a sine b is cos of a minus b. Now x is in the interval of pi by 2 to 3 pi by 4. And what is this alpha? So alpha is in such a way that cos alpha is 12 by 13 and sin alpha is 15 by 13, sorry, 5 by 13. So alpha is certainly a value which is in the interval of 0 to 5 by 4 because 45 degree value of sin is 1 by root 2, it is less than that. So x minus alpha is a value which is lying in the interval of 0 to pi where we can write cos inverse cos theta is theta. So we can write it as x minus alpha. Now looking at all the options, it is x minus something, but that something is in terms of tan inverse. So when you have cos alpha as 12 by 13 and sine alpha is 5 by 13, then at that time, what is tan alpha? You divide these two and you get alpha is 5 by 12. So alpha is tan inverse 5 by 12. So this answer which we got as x minus alpha can be written as x minus tan inverse of 5 by 12. Now let's check which answer is this. x minus tan inverse 5 by 12 is option B. And yes, that is the answer given.